transition yangu ya gospel happened so suddenly because eh? mm-hmm. me I got saved in a club so what were you doing in a club <laughs> <laughs> okay before <laughs> kokel kona fanya eh? nini uh-huh. ilikuwa high school so uh-huh. when we close school uh-huh. tulikuwa tunaenda weekends we used to go our our sundays were divided into two cuz madangu ni pasi mm-hmm. so asubuhi tunaenda church ikifika around 12 mm-hmm. tumehepa tunaingia f2 hapo tao jam session wow. so that was me me i used to love jam session cuz nda rap ile time ya talent show ikifika 5 pm walikuwa wanapatia wase mic open mic so you get on stage rap whatever you're rapping so me nilikuwa na rap kwa club mm-hmm. but not for long it was like one year heavy so ni kwa kwa club one of these days Holy Spirit truly followed me unajua kwa club kwa club katikati and then it was one of those wild days ju tukiingia tumepigana na mabouncer tukiingia siju bwa wangu ameiba na dem ilikuwa tu mambo mingi so ilifika place Holy Spirit when I need for lia nika feel tu kila kitu ime stop akaniambia angalia around alafu chekea mabestu wako mm-hmm. eh alafu akanikumbusha show me your friends and I'll show you who you are So mimi niliangalia around nikacheke maboys wangu na wapenda to date. In fact wote bado tuko nao mm-hmm. ni jeshi yangu. Uh-huh. All of them have saved by now. Wow. All of Because them. Because you made that decision of course. Eh, yeah, but ni mtaani, unajua mm-hmm. ni mabo wangu wa mtaani hatuwezi kwa sana. Mm-hmm. But your time niliangalia tu hivi manze nikaona boy wangu amefura, unajua amepigwa ngumi na bouncer. Huyu <laughs> mwingine yako tu na mashati zimetaruriwa juu ya madem nini nini. And for me I just I just chose peace. Pearl Radio, the home of fresh and classic hits. Chris is here. We just want to dive uh, straight into it. Chris, karibu sana. Hey manze, thanks. Manze, <laughs> first of all, I'm so sorry for running late. Yani, it's been one of those days. Yani hata mimi niko na test. It it has been a test and a testimony. And a testimony. You guy. Wow. But I'm so glad that you are here. Thank you so uh, what much. What matters Bobby. most is you know what you are here to mm-hmm. testify. Eh, imebidi. Imebidi. Shetani alijua alikuwa anakupinga mbaya. Mbaya. Bro, nimemka asubuhi. Uh-huh. And sijui tu <laughs> when it was the agents yeah. wakeja yeah. wakaanza tu mambo wow. from nowhere and i was traveling eh? so eh, maybe due to shift leo yeah out of nowhere no plan no nothing just woke up said i'm not sleeping in this place wow. yeah so out of your commotion you move houses and everything mm-hmm. akili kasao nafa kuko mali at some <laughs> point manze pole sana ah, it's okay yeah. it's okay but good thing you're now settled ah it's a blessing to be ah nice, yeah, it's nice. Like peace of mind peace of mind yeah. you know <laughs> Anyways even as we get st- jump straight into it. Yes sir. Ya yeah, Chris Ero. Yeah. Unajua kuna mtu hapa alikuwa anambia Chris anakuanga anakuanga Masai. <laughs> Ero Ero. <laughs> so I want to know Chris. Leo ni ile siku. Your, your official name now according to Siezi uh, say my way Google to Google to. <laughs> but but I'm not Masai. Eh mimi wambia I say I'm uh, I'm musically Masai. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But uh, siju ndai semaje <laughs> masai by anointing <laughs> <laughs> yangu ilikuja tu ilikuja but i'm i'm cute you're cute i'm cute ah, the modo wa nyoba modo wa nyoba and yeah. biashara eh uh, biashara <laughs> sharia besha <laughs> ndio hiyo sasa <laughs> anyways anyways actually i love i love your accent on um, on music because you know what yeah. this is very original yeah it is know? it is a prayer answered by mm-hmm. the way that's uh, one of the stories i always tell mm-hmm. proudly because i used to do hip hop mm-hmm. and a lot of raga and for like seven years nilikuwa na actually no one no mm-hmm. one cared mm-hmm. and uh, i took some time off i mm-hmm. took a whole year and a few months mm-hmm. nilikuwa naambia god to and make different from everyone else because mm-hmm. nilikuwa naenda event napigwa makofi na wale watu wawili wameni invite tu mm-hmm. unajua just another performance ukiangalia poster imeandikwa emoji daddy owen ekodida and many other alafu <laughs> kuna uto tu dot tatu zifuata kuna time nilijama hadi nikaandika jina yangu hapo hivyo bana but it was a prayer just to be different mm-hmm. and to have a voice mm-hmm. so that when i tell a younger person any age you shouldn't do drugs yeah. iko na impact kwa life yake and they actually see like eh ka chris amesema tusifanye hiki to there's a reason mm-hmm. so god answered me through venye tu nilikuwa nime take time off mm-hmm. tulikuwa tuna freestyle kwa keja na a guy called mutua mwenye nimeficha kwa katikia yesu mm-hmm. and some of my other songs Mutua is a kamba so ya kiroga na roga na asimbulo wacha nikushowe unajua <laughs> yeah. eh hizo sito uh, he's uh, <laughs> rhyming with kamba accent mm-hmm. so yangu ilikuja we were just freestyling nothing written tulikuwa na tafuta chorus ya e baba and hapo ndio mimi nilisema hello yo hello yo e baba uh-huh. and since then 
and that was 2009 wow so since then nimekuwa natumia the masai aspect in my music mm-hmm. and everything changed wow yeah. that is so amazing but even before you get into that yeah. we just want to know uh, your background probably what was your story yako ulitoka yeah. ulitoka wapi maybe where you were raised uh minime grow ya ghetto mm-hmm. uh, almost all ghettos you can think of yeah. uh kibera karioko mm-hmm. jeri ngara mm-hmm. but um most of my life nime spend in 44 Mm-hmm. Uh, Kaha West 44 Kaha West uh, so Gedorai Kaha West uko ni mta uh-huh. uko ni uko ni hood uh-huh. uh, uko ukionga mbaya unapiga <laughs> <laughs> actually I was in Gedorai for some time so yeah. I know it's a good place but ah, uh, place poor sana yeah. place poor but uko mimi ndio don uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've lived in 44 for 22 years mm-hmm. plus so ni 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 huko ndio mta nasema yeah so because unasema mm-hmm. umetoka umelelewa sides za za 44 sides za Kawa West how, yeah, yeah. how how was life there in your uh, maybe in your schooling and all that life yako imekuaje you tell um schooling yangu ilikuwa tu hapa tau mimi mm-hmm. primo nilisoma shule inaitwa Riverbank mm-hmm. iko tu hapa Grogon mm-hmm. na juu iko Grogon you can tell all red <laughs> we were crooks yeah <laughs> <laughs> yani since the one yani tu ilikuwa na mambo mingi mm-hmm. and um, I, i remember yani it's it ulikuwa tumashazo ya ma strike za jamhuri za paki yeah za yani strike yote tu ya ka enjoy ki happen wanakuja kupigania kwa field yetu mm-hmm. in, in fact tumerushwa tia gas like five times when i was still in school so mm-hmm. we were used to that hardcore urui nini nini and yo shule most of the time ilikuwa inatoa makanga watu tu amtatu ilikuwa tu inatoa though some great people have come from that school yeah. but most mm-hmm. most ilikuwa tu yani unatoka kwa umeingia tu hiyo mm-hmm. system ya yeah, around to makanjo nini nini mm-hmm. but god ame kwa faithful sana mm-hmm. after primo went to nilirushwa mm-hmm. juu madhe aliona na ribika karusho shule inaitwa kirogo boys mm-hmm. when it was kirogo boys yes ilikuwa pande za moranga mm-hmm. Uko hivyo sasa ilikuwa noma first day in school niliona form 4 akipiga principal. <laughs> <laughs> yaani hapa nikajua eh huko yenyewe ni noma ni noma. Mm-hmm. But uh, a few years later I moved to Parklands Boys and that's my education basically after. Up. So ukiwa shule ulikuwa ulikuwa mtu mpoa au ulikuwa mruu? Ah mtu mpoa. Mimi form 1 mm-hmm. third term I was a captain. Ah not a prefect a, a captain. captain. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, oh, that... one third term. Uh-huh. And all through my high school I mean got to captain captain captain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now after 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 completing high school now life hapa nje imekuaje now? Ah sasa si nikarudi Gedurai. Mm-hmm. Eh, Gedurai. Huko ni noma tu ya nini it's a it's a hustle but for me I I fell in love with music ile ukweli kabisa ni kwa high school. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't gospel. I used to listen to as well kwa naitwa TOK. <laughs> na wajua <laughs> yeah, <tiyo kei>, walikuwa <laughs> bad eh, walikuwa bad yeah. eh, so me i used to love ngoma za tio okay, mbaya sana and uh, my big brother was a uh, concordi alikuwa makanga pande za mm-hmm. 44 so he used to come with the cd's with uh, the songs and cd's is on instrumentals mm-hmm. so me i took cd instrumentals nikaanza kuandikia mangoma and uh, i remember writing my first gospel song ilikuwa mbaya ilikuwa noma ilikuwa raga jesus the fire who helps me acquire my best desire eh hey, ilikuwa mbaya and i remember i took a chance and went to perform at a church i love mm-hmm. inaitwa kahawa baptist mm-hmm. kenda ku perform kba and uh, i got on stage you know sasa uko ni mta najua kila mtu even everyone at the event na wajua mm-hmm. so i got on stage nikaikewa track manze kwanza ni track ya tok ya gali wa lead mm-hmm. Eh nikapigezwa mara msa zangu gospel. Kidogo kidogo nikazimiwa ngoma. Mimi nikakaa nikaona since najua rhymes zangu offhead mm-hmm. nikaendelea kuroga tu. Mm-hmm. Nikazimwa microphone na wakaita mabouncer. Nikabebo juju nikatolewa church. So I I, I, I nikatoka tu na urui yangu ya gedhurai unajua yeah. calling them names nini nini. And then a dude approached me akanembea relax relax. Uh, Nasikia unafanya maraga eh. To meet on Tuesday I left on Nyanja. Mm-hmm. So me I cooled down. On Tuesday met the dude to kind of studio um he was recording a song. Mm-hmm. Alafu akaniambia niweke maraga zangu ndani ya hiyo song and that was my first time recording a gospel song. So when you recording and guess it? who that was? Uh-huh. Guess. Who? Magic Mike. Magic Mike. Imagine. Oh <laughs> Back then alikuwa anaitwa Skele. 
<laughs> Back in the day. I got skele. Eh, I got skele, but Magic Mike recorded me my first song mm. ever and that was in 2005. Wow. Yeah. So and, and let me ask you, when you're recording this uh, first gospel song, were you yeah. born again that time? I was. I was. Mm. Transition yangu ya gospel happened so suddenly because eh? mm-hmm. me I got saved in a club. So what were you doing in a club? Got... <laughs> okay. Before <laughs> okay high, school, yeah. nini? Uh-huh. high school. So uh-huh. when we closed school, tulikuwa uh-huh. tunaenda weekends. We used to go our our Sundays were divided into two because madangu ni pasi. Mm-hmm. So asubuhi tunaenda church ikifika around 12 mm-hmm. tumehepa tunaingia F2. Hapo tao jam session. Wow. So that was me. Me I used to love jam session because in the rap ile time ya talent show ikifika 5 pm walikuwa wanapatia wase mic open mic so you get on stage rap whatever you're rapping so mimi nilikuwa na rap kwa club mm-hmm. but not for long it was like one year hivi so nikuwa kwa club one of these days holy spirit really followed me unajua kwa club kwa club katikati and then it was one of those wild days due to kingia tumepigana na mabouncer tukiingia siju bwa wangu ameibana dem ilikuwa tu mambo mingi so ilifika place holy spirit when ali ni folia nika feel too kila kitu ime stop akaniambia angalia around alafu uchekea mabest wako mm-hmm. eh alafu akanikumbusha show me your friends and i'll show you who you are so mimi niliangalia around nikachekea maboys wangu na wapenda to date in fact wote bado tuko nao mm-hmm. ni jeshi yangu uh-huh. all of them have saved by now wow all of because them. you made that decision wako eh yeah, but ni mtaani unajua mm-hmm. ni mabo wangu wa mtaani hatuwezi kwa sana mm-hmm. but hiyo time niliangalia tu hivi manze nikaona boy wangu amefura unajua amepigwa ngumi na bouncer huyu <laughs> mwingine yako tu na mashati zimetaruriwa juu ya madem nini nini and for me i just i just chose peace i remember walking out of that club nikaenda church ya msi anaitwa pastor martin suna mm-hmm. juu the only church i knew ni hiyo and it's because akina dk walikuwa wanaenda hiyo church na dk tulikuwa tunajua na from ghetto yeah so dk hope kid walikuwa wanaenda hiyo church ya martin suna so mm-hmm. me i walked in church ya martin suna nikapata wako na evening service nikatembea tu pale mbele nikokoka and that was it since then since 2005 nikaanza kuimba gospel hey, you know this this is so amazing that the holy spirit can speak to you even in the club. and it hasn't happened once it always happens always 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 happens mimi i'm one of those people i don't force and i always tell people i can't tell you about a god i don't know mm-hmm. that's why my songs are not too churchy and even my testimony is not too si for see to jesus mm-hmm. unajua yeah. cuz I, i can only tell you about a god i've experienced and a god that i know mm-hmm. there's a certain quote i love by saint is it augustus and it says preach the gospel and use words when necessary again preach the gospel use words when necessary mm-hmm. so when you're preaching the gospel it's more of your lifestyle you talk more by how you live your life in akwagakwa the book of first uh, timothy chapter 4 verse 16 yeah in a watch your life and doctrine closely because if you do you will save yourself and your hearers wow so you're watching your life and doctrine closely mm-hmm. Because when you wanna live life yako, ndio hata una inspire wasi wengine when you wanna live. So that was me. You know one amazing thing is that you know sometimes people may not read the Bible or even you know go to church but they are reading yeah. your life. Yeah. Imagine. And it's not hey, the number of times yani bro do you know there's a time um there's a time I took a matatu eh mm-hmm. and um nilikuwa star bado nilikuwa star mbaya. So in fact it was nikuwa at the peak. Nilikuwa nimechukua mat 44. And then I was coming to town. So Concordi alilipisha kila mtu akaniruka. Mhm. Akaniruka akalipisha kila mtu hadi mwisho na akarudi na nini. So mimi nikashangaa eh mse ajaniitisha. Something inside me was like ah man zeni nimeangukia nimesave hiyo so. Hiyo <laughs> so ya kuingia town ni save. Mm-hmm. But nikienda kushuka nikaitoa tu nikamguzisha nikamwambia bro ni aje huko nchukua yangu. Akaniambia eh bro ni aje eh mimi uko check church mkucheki mtaani nilikuwa tu nataka kutest kwa wewe umeokoka huko wow bro that thing hit me it hit me so sad because the number of times kwa akili nilijiambia hii so naenda kudish it was one of those moments and i've learned i've learned it doesn't matter how hard a situation is nimekuwa kwa situations zenye umeshikwa na makarao na unaweza toa hongo uachiliwe uende tu shughuli zako mm-hmm. but you have to you have to keep that nini a character yeah 
Yeah, because you chose this life of uh, trying your best to live a blameless life wow. as Christ did. So I love it. I love keeping it real in mm-hmm. in every way. And 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 before Mziki Jipe. Yeah. Because I know uh, by that particular time to answer sometimes kuna is my struggles na nini nini. Yeah. So what are some of ulikona ulikona fanya hustle gani your time before now? I used ato. to dance. Ulikuwa dancer? Mini dancer atari. Eh. Mbaya sana. Walai. Bro. <laughs> I've I've funded my whole career through dance in some sort of way. Uh-huh. Eh. Nikianza mziki um before you guys heard of e baba mm-hmm. that was 2009 before that i had like 12 songs mm-hmm. and all songs i'm playing for them but ni juu tunaenda dance ya wedo tunalipo 10k tuko dancers kumi <laughs> so tunaga tuna first of all tunakula machipo mm-hmm. watu wapone <laughs> alafu ile ndio inabaki kila mtu anapatiwa maybe eight so it's so so hiyo it's so yangu ilikuwa ina split wa hivyo na twa do flani inaenda kwa studio time do flani inaenda hivyo so that's been me i used to be a dancer and that's how i used to fund my music before ijipe we yeah na hata after ilijipa bado kuna vitu tunafanya chini ya maji nilianzisha cloth line erowear mm-hmm. we used to sell a lot of clothes we used yeah. to dress uh, there's a time we used to dress and tv newscasters That's how hard I used to grind man. Uh, so mnonapo Larry Mado lakini amevasha tia erronation. Man that, uh, that is so amazing. Uh, so grind grind is a must. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last two years nimekuwa nafanya kwa an advertisement firm. Uh, I was a creative huko hivyo. Yeah. So I'm always grinding in one way or another. Mm-hmm. But Tai as we speak right now I'm mm-hmm. into music fully. Wow. And Chris, you know I've been listening to your music. Yeah. And most of you actually have been transitioning and also when you're working with different producers mm-hmm. your, your songs comes out differently. Yes. Because when, when I listen to you when you're working with Magic Mike it's different when you're working with your Alex, you know. Yeah. And, and it's likes. also different when I produce myself. Yeah, you, you produce your own songs as yes, well? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. I made the guide beat. Yeah. yeah. I always produce myself in one way or another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what's your what's your I, I, can, I cannot even specify if you have a do, what's your genre of music? I'm a own genre. Nini if you I wish I, I had my artist bio I show you. Yeah. In my artist bio the first line I always write in kwa game and Chris is a product of music evolution. Because mm-hmm. my songs always evolve, my sound evolves and it's because of your time yenye nilikuwa natafuta sound when I when I was just another rapper. When I asked God to make me different from everyone else, akanipatia yeah. Umasai, nili evolve. And since then I've tried not to stick to one thing mm-hmm. i evolve with uh the sound that i'm using every producer i work with every artist mwenye tuna work with i evolve i always change kuna mtu tutaingia na naye ni amwe hapa tuna rap mbaya yeah. na kuna mtu nitawa na naye ni amwe hapa tunaingia kwa mafuta mm-hmm. yeah. Wow. And and uh, even as we talk about your music when you first release your first song yeah. wa katulitoa ah, iliweza how was the reception man iliweza song yetu ilichezwa mara moja hiyo ngoma yangu na skele magic mic mbona na muita skele pole eh that right now is a, is a, is, a, is, a, is becoming a pastor because he's an elder he's an elder it's an elder yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so ni our song jesus was played a couple of times mm-hmm. by akina njugush and uh eh hey, manze tulikuwa tunachocha mtani I remember I had even recorded it kwa tape. Mm-hmm. Niende tu nikicheze au same say au kusikia Jesus ilichezwa wewe. Yeah. Uh, it was a blessing by sana. It was a dream come true anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cuz we guys have been looking up to wase wengi akina SK Blue, akina Daddy Owen, akina Rafton. Those were our inspirations back in the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wow, that's good. Because also uh talking about even your music, you know, me for me I've been relating to your music. Oh, and wow. uh, th- there's a song that you did and I think there's a story behind this particular song. So we just want to know which uh, you know behind this particular which song. Which song? Na try kufikiria huyu unapenda song gani? Inaitwa Realist. Ah. <laughs> ah, hatari. So, hatari. You know that song actually when I listened to this song and I realized actually you are a friend of mine, okay. a, a presenter as well. Mm-hmm. Like anembe, eh, kuna Chris ametoa hii song. There is some that Chris Alpitia. Yeah. Behind this song. So yeah. why why did you uh, write that particular song Realist? Mm, I re- I wrote Realist when I was in deep depression. Mbaya sana. Mm, I remember I had locked myself in the house for over three months. Ile tu nikitoka kwa nyumba hapo nje kwangu kulikuwa na shop. So literally the 
farthest i had gone was kwa shop kubai mkate na soda na nini narudi tu kwa keja i had a very bad diet i had gained weight i was like 94 kgs <laughs> nilikuwa very chubby i was messed up in every way and uh, e depression ilikuwa imekam because of something called black tax na pia mokoro alikuwa msik mm-hmm. unajua black tax ni nini ama ni explain here raia explain here yeah because kuna wanashikanishi <laughs> black tax ni let's say you come from a family mm-hmm. of maybe 3 ama 4 5 it doesn't matter alafu you are the only one who achieves the, uh, kind of success so now you take up the burden the mm-hmm. financial burden of everything so that was me i was successful and tuko ghetto <laughs> so school fees ni wewe rent ni wewe and it's your first time of touching money so see ati ni kitu umeshazoea see ati you have learned how to control your finances see ati it's a steady income unajua so for me i just found myself in a place where it was too much and i was in your space ya darkness nini nini i couldn't see a way out and uh, when i wrote realest is a um, most of my songs ini kitu sijaambia siambiagi wase wengi unless you actually ask me yeah. most of my songs are prophecies for myself and for my fans mm-hmm. i always believe i'm in a journey and i'm in a journey with a lot of people so um, when i go through depression it's because i know there are many others going through it yeah. so i prophesy upon myself for example when i released mbaba there's a line up on dani first of all God name so mm-hmm. alinito system I could get, could get muscle. Muscle. Mm-hmm. that time i used to survive on 150 shillings a day 150 yes so nilikuwa naamka na so asubuhi and i divide it 30 bob breakfast chai ya 10 bob mandazi mbili hivyo like i used to budget i used to survive on 100 shillings or 150 on a good day <laughs> on a good day so i had i had to prophesy to myself in a song nikaambia first of all god name so ali ni toa kwa system ya ku get maso bado nilikuwa kwa maso mm-hmm. but nili professor inatoka wow and i remember check ya 300k kiingia nikasema what 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 do you mean ingo mena leta so tatu aje unajua mm-hmm. so most of my songs are prophecies in one way or another so realest was a prophecy mm-hmm. Nikiandika hapo nani alisema wewe uwezi fika sauti yako supu haiwezi sikika they said the same thing about me na niko hapa you know mm-hmm. i'm already prophesying myself bigger than the situation unajua yeah. and telling god to uh, make me as big as he imagines uh, that i can be and your song niliandika ku encourage upcoming artists and just to share on my journey um as a creative uh, the ups the downs eh na ndio hiyo sasa wow. uli relate jo maybe pia wewe kuna time hey. life ilikutwanga <laughs> ilikutwangulate <laughs> mbaya sana eh mimi nilipitishwa character development na yale anyways you need testimony as queen ah wewe acha bana sasa tutokota sadaka testimony yako ndio deep yangu tu ni hivi hivi eh but realest realest was born from the deep mm-hmm. there are a couple of songs realest mm-hmm. Um, there's a song called Blessings. Sijika mm-hmm. unaijua na yo Alex. Mm-hmm. There's a song called Blessings. Um Bampa. Bampa yeah. Bampa uh, Sitanyamaza. All these songs have been born from the deep. Yeah. Isi ile normal at Msani tu alingia studio. Inaweza kuwa ni Msani alingia studio but the journey mm-hmm. the journey is poured on that song. It, it's 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 such an amazing thing that God anakuspikia. Yani you prophesy you prefer on, on your life uh, with your music this, yes. this is so good mm. and i think it also is for artists out there because sometimes you even lack the creativity you ya ku, ya ku, ya write songs yes you can prophesy and write a do song do it do it but you know maybe that's what makes me different mm-hmm. from everyone else because yeah. you also have to understand um, as creatives we all write from different places yeah kuna mse let's say um, i'll give an example when i started Uh, writing mm-hmm. gospel music it wasn't because ati nilikuwa nataka kufanya gospel it was because i was a dancer na kukwa na ngoma za ku dance mm-hmm. the only people who are doing dance music your time ilikuwa sk blue rafton and dadio and had one song na ilikuwa inasumbua so mimi as a young guy nilikuwa na have kusikiza kina papa san stitchy and i saw an opportunity where we can do mm-hmm. Uh, I can do songs nifanya sasa ku dance. So even the the tracks I was selecting back then zilikuwa ni songs tracks zenye na za dance here. 
na ni cheki so mm-hmm. i created that space the necessity of dance na cheki so that's how creatives are um, people write songs for different reasons there's a reason why we katik o oh, andika songs when you are andika mm-hmm. there's a reason why ekodida writes his music the way he does so there's a reason why chris you andika hivyo nikae kama prophecy uko ndani ni juna atakai kwa more na song as much as kuna beat noma as much as kuna boom twaf nini mm-hmm. if you sit down to actually listen to what i'm saying yeah lazima iku change wow yeah and chris have been in, in this in this uh, industry Oh, okay kuna watu wanaita industry kuna watu wanaita yeah. ministry ni zote upende usipende that's yeah. the worst thing about it and people try to fight it mm-hmm. people try to separate the two but it's impossible it's pretty much impossible because <laughs> ukicheki uh, kama ile time ya Christ alipatiwa two loaves and uh, one eh uh, inakuwa ah ni two fish and five, and five loaves yeah. your time that's economy cuz ali multiply yes yeah, that's economics mm-hmm. so literally there's business there's everything in christianity and ministry and all that yeah yeah this establishment yeah, i run through maombi yeah because even the parable of the talents only yeah. patio endo will make something out of it. you must multiply yeah. so it's it's understandable when i see the difference what work struggle to understand yeah. but um the whole point of christianity is make christ the center mm-hmm. of it all at yeah. the end of the day mm-hmm. yeah 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 i was mentioning that you have been in this uh in this in this game for for close to 13 years 15 it's 15 years yeah. 15 years almost 15 almost 15 years yeah. so, you guy why man <laughs> you guy hey, 15 years that is, that is a big milestone man so w- what has been that particular secret because uh, there are those artists who actually alliance and then some of them were come more you know what that good to say story to jaribu secular but what kept you going with your work with god and also just keep on singing gospel two things actually one it's about a dream i had when i was in form 2 when i was in form 2 i had a dream um where god showed me if i do music i'll be as big as africa yeah I, it's not at I'll, i'll be the biggest artist in africa i'll be as big mm-hmm. as africa in itself yeah so if i've not achieved that yet i still know i have a long way to go mm-hmm. so i always keep pushing the other reason why i always stick to gospel is i love writing songs that encourage people yeah songs zenye ato kuna pitia a hard time kwa kwa dark times nini nini mm. ukisikiza ngoma ya hero tu hivi ina ku uplift yeah. so that's me see it is the try to do secular see it is the andika secular songs me andika na napayana <laughs> most of the time because mm. it's creativity yeah. and my mind runs on creative juices but when it comes to me personally i have to write songs that uplift people yeah That, yeah. that is good and also for those because i know there are a lot of people who i look up to you man even Wacha. for me yeah me but me ni that time was when i was uh, actually uh, i was following up wakati ulikuwa na ulitoa song yako ya e baba eh eh yote mli ni inspire sana nilikuwa na ndio ku rap lakini nilijipata tu na rap ma gift too na inspire you na mtu apoge dhurai akiana ni mziki ina mambo <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so that those uh, maybe upcoming artists i don't know yeah. if you should call them upcoming artists but those people look up to you and uh, they say you know mean major and some me i don't think in ajipa and uh, for you have been in this game for 15 years yeah. so what is that one word of encouragement ungeza penda kuambia man they give up to hmm? man they give up <laughs> I, i don't know i think nime nime change over time eh? yeah and it just depends on the seasons mm-hmm. ile season sai tuko in the music uh, industry mm-hmm. inahitaji yani kujiamini unfortunately sika True. kitambo kitambo if you had a good song ingeenda cuz if wo ungesikiza song ya upcoming na mimba vinoma mali mm-hmm. ungekiwa kwa bluetooth ama whatsapp ukuje we sample una yeah. mm-hmm. tumetoka hiyo age tuko age ya kujiamini For example, uh, Paul, I'm not going to use uh, gospel people. For yeah. example, um KRG the don. Mm-hmm. Kujiamini kifua. Rington. Kujiamini <laughs> kifua. Akode. Yeah. Kujiamini <laughs> kifua. Nani mwingine nitaje sasa? Pose. Kujiamini kifua. Ero. Yeah. Kujiamini kifua. So it's it's a it's a point of 
the industry right now doesn't need people who don't believe in themselves to answer to up so if you are a creative no na feel at you naenda ku give ah, 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 ah. don't feel sorry for yourself no one is going to feel sorry for you yeah it, this is the time where you have to believe jiamini mm-hmm. if you actually have a gift if you have a talent yeah. work on it mm-hmm. the bible says in the book of psalms play your harps and play them with skill only david alikuwa anaambia <laughs> alikuwa anaambia wa so god yeah See it's not about singing you have to sing with skill god deserves excellence mimi shugli napiga sahi target yangu ni kubwa si sahi sikimbizani na gospel artists sikimbizani hata na secular artists nili realize manze niko the same field na chris brown mm-hmm. so wow. siezi patia siezi patia god substandard yeah. unani get mm-hmm. i have to match up in every way mm-hmm. nikaanza na performance sahi performance yangu ni top notch mi sahi hata uni yake america i will blend in naturally yeah Jule amount of work we have put in. So you creative, you artist, you businessman. Pali sahi Kenya iko inahitaji ujiamini whatever it is. If you want to be a radio presenter like brother Israel here, you have to believe in yourself. Hapa hapa kuji mtu aku stama stama, this you na geogopa nini nini. You need to have confidence in yourself and the calling God ameka kwa life yako because everyone has a purpose and everyone has a gifting na place in una fulfill but you won't achieve it if bado una feel sorry for yourself at hakuna finances doing nini we guys have survived without finances all yeah. through yeah i always say gospel artist are <laughs> ni ma survivor cuz me sidani kuna gospel artist analipo venye alafu kwa analipwa una get mm-hmm. i've done shows with akina calligraph with akina sauti soul those guys are being paid 2 million una get mm-hmm. uh, unaona check ya hero sasa lazima azushe una get but inafaa kwa all of us we claim it and we actually put in work because god deserves excellence yeah yeah and also you mentioned david you know david encouraged himself in the lord encouraged himself in the lord bro huko nje huko spoje encourage ah, bro <laughs> yani if, i don't think when you upcoming artist yeah. nimesha in barilest kwa realist nilisema penda Mungu kabla hujaibuka because mm-hmm. God yenyewe hapo tu ndio nini yako iko confidence you can yeah. only place your confidence in God mm-hmm. alafu sasa jiamini mm-hmm. eh, whatever it is even if song yako iko na 150 views bro i have a song on youtube i think hata ijafika 1000 views i'm pretty sure because <laughs> me i always release music yeah. even if i don't come for interviews mm-hmm. even if i don't do media media tours yeah. i always release music mm-hmm. so i know some of my videos haven't reached 10000 views i know but i'm still releasing music because that's not my goal my goal is not for atini kuwa na 1000 1000 subscribers you know numbers kubwa you know a million ah uh-uh. mm-hmm. goal yangu ni i continue being real in everything that i do mm. you know what it is i do this for the love eh. Mungu angeniwaliza I do this for the love eh What a man if it wasn't for God they would have killed me a long time ago ha, We don't do this for the money bro even though we get paid in the process bro ha, We do this for love it's easy to see we got hearts in a heart to go and do it ha, Give me night I give you Kenya They never saw us coming man to my penya What a tuaje hiki paje See I've been a demon ni Mungu tu anajaje We don't do it for fame but, but rather his name we gon do it ha. Our music is a journey to the end of the money and still we gon do it <laughs> King is right Limo Abanyo when peleka mbali jo Ah man so tired. this was before Limo was Limo Wow yes you know actually I've never heard this particular song and you know Bro, we've uh, done like four songs but only two is me talk Wow yeah this so, my boy how actually did you meet actually with Limo please me and new limo are coming by he had like two three songs only uh-huh. and he was a he was actually a rapper mm-hmm. so we have some songs in any rap then mm-hmm. no one knows about them but um as he began to evolve akanza kwa he actually studies a lot yeah he actually studies and he asked me chris mm-hmm. how are you getting your songs to play in uganda tz zambia i told him me i just fused styles 
I stopped doing hip hop because I was a hip hop artist and a raga artist. Niliacha kufanya hip hop plain. Nikachukua saa hip hop hizo ku rap zangu nikafuse na kimasai. Nikafuse na dance tracks zangu za maboom twaf ni nini nini. And even the new sound ya gengeton. That's mbaba. Mm-hmm. Yoni sound ya mbaba. So yeah. for me I believe in mixing and evolving. So Limo started uh, experimenting with the Afrobeats thing and you can see right now. Yeah. Hey, Jamani big ban. Wow. Yeah man, proud of him. For son, the love. Son. For the love, bro. Man. For the love. But he has put in work. Limo Blaze has so many songs. Mm-hmm. And even before like uh, before ta inge Afrobeats, he had like two, three albums za hip hop. Mm-hmm. So if you don't know catalog ya Limo Blaze, please go back and listen to his songs. Mm-hmm. He's really good. Wow. Mm-hmm. So Chris from you, are we expecting an album? I'm not big on albums. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For only one reason, you guys don't buy albums. <laughs> That's the only reason why I can't release albums. Yeah. Like this year alone I've recorded uh, 20 29 songs. Yeah. Zangu solo, mm-hmm. not collabs, mm-hmm. solo songs. I have like 29 songs. But I can't release them. You guys never buy albums. And you can't tell me you buy albums because I I'm, I sell my music. I sell my music personally. Yeah. So mm-hmm. mimi najua watu wakinunua songs na najua watu wasiponunua songs. Mm-hmm. I can release a song like maybe he did it na itapata millions and millions of views na kila kitu yeah. but if i buy I release an album ai <laughs> unapata gani song moja tu people just choose one song mm-hmm. so i believe in just giving people at a different pace kasa yeah. next week na actually a song so probably i'll come back mm-hmm. itabidi umenirudisha hapa itabidi it tena it i have it a, i have an amazing <laughs> A ma- amazing song called Weza. Uh-huh. Yeah, dropping next week so I'll make sure I pass by and drop it. Yeah. Yeah. L- let's get a little bit personal in the next uh, like because we have like a five minutes, yeah. All right, all right. Uh, Chris, akuna uh, mtashinda. Eh Chris akona kuna family like uh, me I'm married <laughs> to my music bro. I'm married <laughs> to my music. Ah, uh, <laughs> mini lishindo stories za madem. <laughs> uh, I always tell people, mimi nimebakisha only one heartbreak minimalize. <laughs> one heartbreak which is nikipata tu heartbreak moja sahi naanza tu kuimba nyimbo za kifo za mambo ni ngumu maisha ni ngumu kifo 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 kina uruma me i only have one heartbreak remaining so i'm not in a rush uh-huh. yeah. and, so, and mulem... i said if i have to marry i'll marry right mm-hmm. yeah. so ule mtu mwenye anakuangalia anasema aki i see chris ah manze is a joke is a joke hapa <laughs> tu ni ice box mbaya na mangoma zangu <laughs> tutachata alafu nikwambie buski za ibas ni nao majo but it's been like that for a minute by mm-hmm. the way i mm-hmm. haven't dated since 2011 mm-hmm. uh, that was the last time i was in a committed relationship uh, since then nilijua hapa mtanimaliza lakini mimi nitaitiwa mshele ndio eh mshele nao hiyo siku ikifika nayo itakuwa gig eh me my wedding will be a gig mbaya ah nice cuz now itakuwa kubwa mm-hmm. uh, but before then eh hey, manze tusikize tu ngoma kani <laughs> <laughs> ngoma ndao hii hadi song of solomon bro the twin towers of gazelles jini hizo kama nataka hizo i will see kama ni za mapenzi mnataka in fact i have a song called my baby yeah. i don't know if you know it my baby i have a song called my baby mapenzi nayo ni iko sio tisiezi andika but uh-huh. kupenda <laughs> Niliachia wenye nguvu. Yeah. You know some people break up now and next week they are dating someone else. Yeah. Eh mimi ushanga watu utoa hiyo nguvu wapi? <laughs> eh cuz mimi jo ndaanza ku overthink. Nseme uwe. Anyway. But I know at the right time. At the right ah, time. Ah yes yes the definitely right time, definitely. Ita ita ita, ita Ivana. Mm. Yeah, yeah, But Chris uh because you, you, you know when I'm listening to your story you have amazing yani you have a lot of twists how God has, has taken you through all this valley. Yeah. And me actually one thing I'll also have a pick from your story is that you know what most of your songs you've done them out of sacrifice not because you are in a good position to, to no, release a song. Never, never. Because ka song ya e song ya mbaba. Imagine you're going to sacrifice lunch yako. All my songs literally Imagine out i of think me me record junicon <laughs> out of necessity yeah because uh, now feel you know for me music is an outlet mm-hmm. yeah so sometimes i want to write about um 
something deep mm-hmm. something spiritual that i've learned and the only way i can push that message to people is through music a song like sita nyamaza mm-hmm. sita nyamaza we've been learning about not being silent about what god is doing yeah. in our lives mm-hmm. and um also this thing called joy joy yeah, yeah that christ is joy mm-hmm. always kuna jita mkristo na you're surrounded uh, with sadness mm-hmm. all the time unajua yeah. so for me i just took it personally to um talk about Christ his goodness faithfulness and what he's doing in our lives through a song like Sita Nyamaz yeah yeah and even the next one Weza mm-hmm. it's the same thing just Christ having his hand on everything yeah yeah wow thank you so much for coming man it's a pleasure man yeah. i wish it to inaza and hadi midnight ah yeah yeah atwezi ongea na wadosi tunge tu na wadosi tuseme si tunaendelea tuko tu sawa tuko tu sawa but not how to encourage him to because yeah. i believe that through your story kuna mtu amesema amen kama chris aliweza yeah. pia mimi naona nitaweza yeah. so i just wanted to uh, speak a word of encouragement to someone who is listening tonight um one of my favorite verses and it came out of understanding life yeah. is in ecclesiastes and it says there is nothing new under the sun mm-hmm. Yo kitu nataka ingie tu kwa roho yako kwa akili kila mali. There is nothing new under the sun. There are some nights which are so cold and sometimes you feel as if you have lost so much that you can't recover, unajua? Yeah. And I'd like to tell you there is nothing new. Yo kitu napitia, wewe si wa first na wewe si wa last. Yeah. There are some people who went through it and came out victorious. So I always encourage people whatever it is, if you're going through hell, mm-hmm. continue. Don't stop continue jushida wasewe ukipitia manoma nini nini mental health unapata anga saa mtu ameanza kukuwa na piti party unasimama tu anza kusema unya mni understand maisha ni ngumu yes it is hard but continue the only way you can pull through is if you pull yourself through it yeah just continue mm-hmm. mm, cuz there is nothing new mm-hmm. under the sun And Chris where can guys uh, get your music and also are you on all social media platforms niko kila mali but please mm-hmm. please subscribe on youtube yeah and spotify cuz yenyewe uko ndio yenyewe na safa jo cuz me seems wa kushinda ni kifoso says si juu nini nini i think i don't mention it enough please subscribe on my youtube it's a, it's a fairly new page iko na i don't know 3000 subscribers so we are trying to grow that account and uh, i need all you guys to support yeah. and uh, i'll drop new music back to back mm-hmm. yeah sign me rudi full time music mm-hmm. yeah there's a certain comment na kwa gani may pin kwa video ya bumper mm-hmm. where someone said i'm going through cancer and the only thing keeping me going yeah songs from crisero from four years ago so i believe so many people are going through so much and me nataka to encourage god is god is very faithful mm-hmm. he's faithful and just and his ear is not too deaf yeah. and his hand is not too short to reach us so yeah uh, put your trust in god mm-hmm. yeah Wow, salams maybe jina jo kuna kuna watu wanakusikiza salams usiteka wewe hey, Chris huku nigotea <laughs> yeah man eronation jeshi yangu kama kawaida mm-hmm. big up on yourself mnajijua mm-hmm. um eronation ndio watu wao ni hold down imziki sifanyagi juu ya masses yeah. sifanyagi juu ya do mimi do imziki juu ya eronation hiyo uh, ni jeshi yangu mbugi yangu mm-hmm. anywhere i go wako Yeah. So big up man zena wapenda sana. We keep it 100 out sio. Amen. To anyone trusting God for a job man zena waombea sana na God ata come through. I always tell people when times are hard you live a day at a time. So wacha kufikiria about um kesho kutwa nini nini it's about today. Leo tutadu nini yeah. and God ata come through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just pray for us for just a minute. I love to close. Yeah, heavenly father we come before you and we thank you because you're a mighty God. And thank you for this opportunity for me to be here on air with Israel and nothing happens if it's not in your plan my father so i bring every listener who's trusting you my god anyone ile prayer nya naomba in secret kama amejificha ni god i ask you my father the way you've been faithful in my life may you be faithful in their lives tonight my god that prayer that they've been praying my god may you bring it um to succession my god that Everyone listening when you're struggling with finances my father may they never lack may they never borrow in Jesus name we trust that you're a provider my god and may you prove yourself to be Jehovah Jireh and Emmanuel in their lives that you shall be with them everywhere they go and you shall open doors that no man can shut may they never lack may they never borrow in Jesus name we pray 
Amen. 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 That was so powerful. Amen. Man, the next time tuna come tuna create time yetu sasa sisi wawili sasa. <laughs> sasa itakuwa tu tuna <laughs> test tuna, unataka tuna, kusoki na. Tuna soki. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely but bro. Thank you so thank much you. for making time. Thank you I know for you having are going me. through a lot but God ame kupatia tu opportunity to come. Amen, manze. Yeah. Lazima ninge come through mm-hmm. because you are a good man. Yeah. Manze God endelea kukuinua. Amen. May you may he expand your territories and your boundaries and uh ile prayer pia wewe una pray in secret yenye si atujui unajua may god make that happen in jesus name amen amen and that has been chris ero let's do this again next week right here on pal radio 96.9 the home of fresh and classic it's been your host israel kagiri now may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen. amen good night and god bless good night 96.9 fm pearl radio